Hello everyone. I uh, haven't made a video in a while. Things here at the farm have been quite busy. Uh, we're up to uh, almost 15 horses. We're getting fi uh, a 15th horse on Friday. So let's keep me quite busy here as well as taking care of the property and what have you. But anyway, you may see me kind of standing inside something. And I know I hinted at one of my videos uh, a few months back that uh, I'm hoping to have a greenhouse put up or hoop house uh, this fall. And uh, by the looks of things, it kind of looks like that's happening. So I'll give you a look around. <clears throat> now we're out in the sun here, so there's probably quite a glare. But to me, that looks like the start of a hoop house. Let me get it from this angle. This is what I'm building. It's uh, eight, uh, 12 feet wide on the inside and 80 feet long. I was originally thinking of going with a 20 foot wide by 60, um, but having the uh, the ribs at around 15 foot uh, or 12 to 12 foot or so, that's um, way too tall for me. Um, I just I wouldn't be able to to manage that. Um, so anyway, I went with a 12 foot design, 12 foot wide design, and basically that puts all the vertical the vertical uh, just around seven foot. <clears throat> all I have right now is the skeleton up. Uh, I'm actually getting a wood delivery tomorrow. Uh, I'll be able to put my baseboards up, get my end walls up, and my braces, and then things will start looking good. I have my plastic ordered. I'm getting six mil plastic greenhouse, you know, clear plastic, UV treated, which should last me, you know, four to five years. Out here, as most of you know, there's no trees around here where anything's going to fall on this thing or puncture holes. I mean, we do have a little couple wild animals and some cats, but hopefully they leave it alone. Anyway, I'll get right down to it. I'll try to make it short. Basically, the pipes that are in the ground here, on this side, they're uh, they're 48 inches long. On this side, they're 42 inches long. The pieces that are in the ground, they're one and a half inch um, vertical pieces from a chain link fence, <clears throat> one and a half inch inside diameter. And the reason why I went with those is because that's what's available at my local uh, hardware store at Home Depot. That's where I got them from, uh, as well as at a TSC store. They're driven in the ground here. The reason why they're um, why they're, I believe, six inches higher on this side, or, or you know, like taller, is because this ground slopes a bit, and there's roughly a, between a six and, and ten inch uh, slope. So I figured adding a little bit extra there should uh, make up for the difference to keep things nice and straight here in the middle. Um, I pounded them in with a post pounder by hand, about the first foot, and then I went and got the tractor and used the forks to just kind of ease them right, right down. I mean, some of them are a little bit crooked, some of them are, are a little bit bent, but I mean, for a do-it-yourself job, I think I did a pretty decent job. And then the ribs here, these are actually one and a quarter inch top rail. <laughs> My local supply stores don't carry the one and three eighths inch, which I guess is more of a typical size. But anyway, I got myself a pipe bender. I, got, I actually got it from the Johnny Seeds. It's a 12 foot, uh, 12 foot hoop, uh, diameter hoop house bender. Um, I had to ship it here from the US, which, cost, which didn't cost, um, it wasn't that cheap but uh, it, it really worked out well. I mean, some of them are a little bit crooked again, as I said, some of them aren't perfect arcs, but if you'd come down here and you, and you wouldn't be a greenhouse person, you, you wouldn't know a difference. And, uh, you know, standing at the end of it or walking through it, it looks pretty neat. <clears throat> the ribs are spaced, I'll call them ribs, they almost look like, you know, a rib, uh, uh, like from on a body or what have you. Uh, they're, they're at uh, four foot apart. Again, 12 foot wide, four foot apart, so that gives you 21 hoops. And all on the bottom, or along the bottom here, they're all uh, self-tapping screws. And then around, I got the self-tapping screws. These are only half inch, but there's plenty to go through this and in the pipe here. And then around each side, I put uh, around each pipe joint, I put a put a couple a couple uh, turns of duct tape because it's quite a sharp edge here where they meet. This is inside here, about maybe six inches. I think that I'm pretty sure that's that's more than than adequate for what I need. Um, and I taped it all up here. So that way, there's no rough edges. And I have here, this is the same length of the curve pipe, but they all come in straight, obviously. They're 10 foot long. Um, pieces of top rail. And I use that as my purlins. I use here, they're taped up now, but these are three, or they're four inch, uh, just big heavy duty pipe clamps. Go up around the top, put some duct tape around the top of those to eliminate any rough spots. <clears throat> same thing where they join here. Where the purlins join each other, there's two self-tapping screws, one on each side. 
and again there's duct tape on the top <coughs> and you may say to yourself well what's with all the duct tape shouldn't the screws hold everything well yeah the screws are what's holding everything the duct tape is basically there to prevent when the plastic is pulled down prevent it from catching on this rough edge and breaking and cutting it and, and getting cut um, because you know if you're, you're stretching greenhouse plastic you want to stretch it pretty tight and if you get a cut or a rip in that you know it's very hard to patch and it'll never be the same so anyway that's the overview I guess you would say part one of the greenhouse <clears throat> again it's 12 foot by 80 foot 